All right, guys, here we are tonight at Golf Central, and we're doing something here with a premium driver. And a not so premium driver. And a not so premium driver. Now, we don't need to know what company this other one is, and we nor that we really have to know what this one is either. But this is a name brand driver, and this is a not so name brand driver. Titanium driver, or it says it's titanium driver, and of course, this is carbon, carbon crown titanium this will be just all straight titanium now our computers died so you will see some numbers and that was with this bad boy right here so this is with the not so premium driver yes now before I hit some with this to see we got GC2 there so we're still gonna be able to get ball speed numbers spin numbers are gonna be a little too high because it's reading the ball as it is Whereas it goes through the computer and the N-Flight software for the ping software and it equates it back to a premium golf ball. Mm. So, your thoughts on this titanium cheaper driver? Um, well, I have hit it already <clears throat> and it is definitely a titanium feeling driver. Yeah. Um, it's very, very clunky, definitely and actually how old is this? Uh, a couple of years old. Okay, so really, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's come out around the time, same time as technology that's in that one. Yep. was already out. So The only real difference with this is this has got a carbon crown, yep. uh, whereas that one doesn't. That's and just a full tie. Moving weights. This has got blah, movable blah, blah, weights blah, blah, blah. and all the stuff. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, we've already hit it. Yeah, de like I said, definitely feels, feels, looks like a no, not a big name brand. Oh, you can know. say it, mate. It, it looks cheap. It does. <clears throat> and it feels pretty cheap too. It, it feels like a rock. You'd be better off using a rock and a stick. Yeah, of on the end of a plastic shaft. But, oh, we might as well put a decent shaft in it. Well, yeah. Look, at the end of the day, it just it just feels like a heavy head on. And look, the shaft itself, it says it's um, stiff flex, I believe. Um, oh no, it just says high modulus graphite. Which, no, not which, just that. Platinum. Platinum, which means so it's, we are taking it's, it's, the piece a bit, but we are. But it is a cheaper club compared to this. So I'm gonna hit a couple of balls yep. and see what sort of ball speed we get. Um, I think the most we got out of that one was 153 or 154 or something like that miles an hour ball speed. Yeah. Um, let's. Yeah, I think it's it's gonna be interesting because mm. you know a lot of people in the in discussion groups and you know people I've talked to as well. I sort of go, well, what's the diff? You know, what's why not just buy like a cheap old ten-year-old driver? You know, for for thirty or forty bucks. You know, what's the difference if it's going straight? It's going straight. All, all right. So, <clears throat> um, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to take a photo of that down there. I'm going to put it up here. This is but good production. Yeah, it, 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 it is great. But um, <laughs> I'm going to put a video because that says 159 ball speed. Um, these are limited flight golf balls as well. So check out our other video that we done with range balls versus premium yes. golf balls. Check that out. And you will see the difference. It's about 8% or so in it or thereabouts. So check that out. But that ball speed with a real ball was probably going to be mid 160s. Okay. Based on the other test that we did do. So guys, there's nothing wrong with getting a cheaper set of golf clubs. There's not. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to be able to play golf and that's the main thing yeah look and i guess it it's it, it's hard in you know today with drivers being as expensive as they are especially Correct. like your name brands like i can yeah you can see why people will go out and buy a, a cheaper driver without a doubt but this is just showing you guys the difference, the difference. in quality and ball speed and all that sort of stuff so and i mean feeling yeah, looks really yeah, exactly i mean if you're just looking if you're like a beginner 20 plus handicapper or whatever that just want something that you can stick in the fairway yep. and you're gonna play once a month with your mates on a Friday Arvo and you know beer a hole type thing. Mm. Mate, can't fold it. It's, no. gonna, it's gonna be fine. But you know, if you're a bit more serious, trying to get your handicap down, want to trying to play better golf, this is yeah, this is where you start to it's it's a yeah. For for, for what a brand new driver costs, let's say in Australia, 600, 500 bucks. Yep. Now, if you were to get something of a better name of two or three years old that's going to be very cheap yes. now it's going to be better than paying say 150 dollars 
for a no-name brand driver yes. or something along those lines. Yeah. But again, play golf. It doesn't matter what you play with. Just get out there and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, we're just showing you the difference between something more premium, something that's not so premium. Yeah. So just a bit of food for thought. Correct. Comment down below what you think, um, and you know if you thought maybe there was a, a more of a difference, less of a difference on what you kind of think. Yeah. But at the end of the day, guys, just get out there and play golf. Yeah. Anyone that's um, found the other way, like they think when they're out playing without actually seeing numbers like yep. we can here, that they're feeling that the ball's going further with a cheaper club. Yeah. We. Yeah. It would be very interesting. We, we want to know. Correct, yes. guys. Comment down below what else you want us to do as well, because I, I, we enjoy doing stuff like this, because it, it interests me, and I think it interests Scott as well. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. To, to know if there is a difference. Yeah. Especially like the, the one we done with the range balls and the premium balls, so it's quite interesting. Mm. And the XC1 wedges as well. XC1 wedges. Right. So, something that's not known as much, and it's quite interesting, but guys... Definitely interesting. We've got a lot of stuff coming with unnamed golf balls as well. So there's lots of testing Ooh, going on. I'm trying to. I don't know about that. I know we're trying. We're trying so much, um, guys. Thanks for checking the video. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe down here. Product reviews up here. Enjoy, guys. We'll see you next time.